Hello. This morning, we're going to talk about being good stewards. Being good stewards. And our lesson comes from John, the sixth chapter. And it talks about how Jesus fed over 5,000 souls. Um, the 5,000 did not include the women and children. But we know the story how Jesus took the lunch of a young lad and lifted it up to God the Father and blessed it. And it began to just multiply, multiply. And after the feeding, there were 12 baskets taken up. The key is nothing was wasted. When God has blessed us uh, abundantly, we are to be good stewards over. And we're not to waste and be just frivolous with the blessings of God. If we have more than what we need, then ask God to show you someone that may benefit from the overflow of your blessings. I am at awe uh, to see how uh, many of us have more than enough in our closets, in our pantries. God has really been good to us. And I'm sure in our community, we know maybe a family or someone that could benefit from us, uh, you know, giving or helping. So the key is if you are short of blessings, take the resources you have, lift it up to God, and begin to ask God to bless it. And just like uh, Jesus did with the just a uh, few loaves of bread and fish and was able to feed over 5,000, God would let our resources, no matter how scarce they are, to begin to multiply. And before we know it, we will have an overflow and begin to be a blessing to others. The key is always be a good steward of whatever God has given us. And that means taking care of everything God has given us. Don't take for granted that we have a roof over our head or that we have more than enough clothes to put on our back or even more food that we could ever eat. Um, if you're like me, I, I, I could turn down the plate sometimes and, and fast and pray and, and help my uh, health. But we must use the wisdom of God to be able to ask God to give us instructions instructions of how we are to be a blessing to others. Uh, I'm amazed that uh, there were 12, not only 12 baskets, uh, you know, left, but there was more than enough to feed the disciples uh, for, for that week, probably. And it's a miracle story, but at the same time, we are to use the examples of Jesus when it comes to uh, us wanting to be blessed. Make sure that we have a giver's heart. Give, God tells us in many instances, and it shall be given unto you. Press down, shaken together, and running over. Will God cause people to give unto us more than what we can ever imagine? more than what we will ever need. So therefore, we have to have a giver's heart. And that's part of being uh, a good steward over the things God has given us. Again, if you're having scarcity in your life, whether it's material things or whether it's uh, finances, uh, whether it's peace, well, there's not enough love. Give yourself over to God. Ask God to bless your heart, your spirit, your soul, your mind, and to give you the wisdom to be a good steward over every facet of our lives. Many of us know people that are not doing well, especially during this pandemic. Um, and we need to check in on our neighbors. And one of the ways that we show uh, God's love towards others is just be a blessing. 
and maybe not so much a lot of times giving somebody something, but giving of your time, you know, uh, sharing the good news of Jesus. So that's how we become good stewards in a holistic sense, a holistic uh, point of view in our time, talents, and our treasures. But remember that it's always important that we ask God to bless whatever we do so that it will multiply and that the overflow can be a blessing for someone else. God bless you. Let us pray. Most gracious and holy God, we just thank you. We thank you for the miracles that we saw in John 6 of Jesus feeding over 5,000 people. And we know that you are God that is the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. So we know that if we follow the example of Jesus and lift up our resources to you, we lift up our lives, our souls, our bodies, whatever life affords us, if we lift it up to you and ask you to bless it, that we will have an overflow as well and be able to be a blessing to others. Teach us to be a giver, to know that as we give, you give unto us. And know that it's a blessing to be able to give. This we pray and give you glory for Jesus. We give you glory for the lessons that we learn. We give you glory that you are going to give us the wisdom to be good stewards over the blessings you give us. This we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. So remember, ask God to bless whatever resources you may have, whatever you may need. God is able to multiply it, that not only it will bless us, but we will have an overflow to bless others. God bless you.